so it doesn't matter. Take one out. Okay. And don't show me, but show the camera so they can see what it is. Got it? Okay. So he chose a card. One more time for the camera. I'm going to put it in the middle, and I will even shuffle it. All right, so for this experiment, I need four cards, all right? I don't need these. Four cards. And you can see that I have four of them. One, two, three, four. Here's the weird thing. If I remove one card, I still have four of them. It's weird. Every time I remove one card, look, I still have four of them, which makes people wonder sometimes, how many cards do I actually have? Not many, see? I only have one card. What was your card? My card was... Please, please. I don't remember. Do you remember? No. It was the one that said King of Hearts with his name on it. Isn't that strange? But here's the magical part. So King of Hearts, there's four other cards that would make a really great poker hand. Look at the King of Hearts, the Queen, Jack, mm. Ten, and here we got the Ace. Isn't that incredible? Oh, it's magical. That's a loner. <laughs> That's a loner right there. All right, there you go. Thank you so much. Here's another item from Harry Lorraine's Jaw Droppers Volume 1. This is a trick called Easier Six Card Royal. This was originally written up in Doug Edwards' Packs A Wallop. Harry liked the effect, but he had heard from a magician that the Elmsley count that's required to perform it was too difficult, and so Harry took that as a challenge to try to figure out how to make this easier. And so he uses a peel count in order to produce this effect. I personally, and I'm sure many of you, won't find the Elmsley count too difficult, and so I would prefer to use the Elmsley count for this. Now there's an additional thing that you will notice that I've done differently is rather than...